and welcome to the next part of the analog to digital converter video series. In this video, you will see the construction and working of simple counter type analog to digital converter. Let's start with the construction of a simple counter type ADC. Any analog to digital converter needs sample samples to trace an analog input in digital form. These samples in simple counter ADC are taken from an op-amp used in a comparator board with one of its input as to be traced analog voltage and the other as the reference voltage. In a comparator, if analog voltage is greater than the reference, then the output is a logical one. And if analog voltage is less than or equal to the reference voltage, output is a logical zero. The output of the comparator is fed to an end gate ending the clock pulse and the comparator output. The clock pulse is a simple square wave of a very high frequency, usually of the sampling frequencies. Its time period is denoted by T clock. The output of this end gate, now known as the gated clock, because is coming through a gate, is fed to a up counter. For simplicity, let's assume this up counter to be of 4 bit. The output of this counter is sent to a digital to analog converter to be set as the new reference to the comparator. For now, we must just assume that a digital to analog converter converts the digital values to an analog value. We will discuss it in much detail in the later videos. A control unit observes all the outputs of the comparator. When the counting gets completed, a command is given to the lash to store the counter output and reset the counter. So, the final simple counter type ADC block diagram will look like this. Now, let's start with the working of this ADC. To understand the basic working of simple counter ADC, let us assume a constant analog voltage, say 5 volt. The initial count in the counter is 0000, zero, zero, zero and hence the reference voltage is 0 volts. For each sample period, we will consider that the transition of the clock is from low to high. As it can be easily observed, 5 is greater than 0. This gives comparator output as a logical 1. The clock is also high at the same moment and hence the gated clock output is also 1. This makes the counter's LSP change to 1. So now the counter changes to 0, 0, 0, 1. The output of DAC changes to 1 volt. Again 5 volt is greater then 1 volt. The counter changes to 0, 0, 1, 0 and the DAC reads or gives 2 volts. The process continues until the counter output is 0, 1, 0, 1. Once input and the reference voltage are equal, that is 5 volts, the comparator gives a logical 0. The clock input now becomes zero. Logical zero from the comparator output triggers the control unit. It enables the
the storing lash to store the bits in the counter and then commands clear to the counter for the next cycle. Each step takes at a specific interval equal to t clock. The cycle continues over and over for each sample. In a real case scenario, the input voltage won't always be a fixed voltage. Let's assume this wave as an input. The output of digital to analog converter which reflects the counter value when plotted against time increases in the following manner with each cycle of the clock pulse. Once it reaches the wave, the counter resets to zero at the next clock cycle. The process to reach the wave starts again. As it can be seen, a lot of data is missed during the conversion. As for a long wave, it only gives one or two samples that to after a long time. The maximum time it can take to produce a sample is 2 to the power n minus 1 t clock where n is number of bits. The sample frequency thus depends on the input analog voltage. To overcome the less sample issue, the method of oversampling can be used. As the faster the clock, the more the samples. We increase the frequency of the clock for taking more and more samples to produce a better quality sample. The method of oversampling can be achieved by increasing the frequency of the clock. Here we double the frequency of the clock. As you can see, doubling the frequency increased the number of samples by the same factor. And the graph becomes more and more informative. We can increase the clock frequency more and more to get a curve more and more closer to the input voltage. The problems which were encountered in the simple counter ADC were less sampling and more time to take samples. These problems can be overcome by using oversampling as shown before or by using another analog to digital converter circuits such as tracker type and flash type. We will further see these analog to digital converters in the next videos. Until then, revise, learn and subscribe Simple Way of Learning to be updated. Thank you.